Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to yet another video. Today we are ranking championship stadiums for the 21-22 season. Let's get into this. So then guys, let me explain how this is going to work. We've got four tiers along here, four categories. At the top we have elite for the best stadiums. We also have good, which is for the next best stadiums. We have okay for the middle of the range stadiums. And then we have small for the stadiums that are probably a bit too small to be in this division. We also have a picture of all 24 championship stadiums for this year. Yes, that's right. 24, not 23. Coventry are back at the Rico Arena. I've been to about half of these, so I won't lie. There will be some stadiums which I don't know too much about, but the ones I haven't been to, I'll rank them on how much I want to go to them and what I've heard about them and what I've seen about them. Now let's start alphabetically with Barnsley Football Club's Oakwell. Now this one I've been to plenty of times, many great away days because Coventry and Barnsley have locked horns many times over the last 10 years. I've seen us win there in the FA Cup. I've seen us win there in the league. I've seen us draw there in the league. I've seen us lose there in the league. Like I said, I've been to this one plenty of times. As for the stadium itself, it's quite a good one. I think the away end is quite a big away end, which is what you want to see. There's one stand which looks a bit old. It looks like it's aging, but the rest of the stadium is pretty nice. And I do like these kind of stadiums. Size wise, it's not one of the biggest in the championship. And like I said, with that one stand that looks really old, I'm not going to put it in the top two tiers, but I still think it's a very okay one. I'm really tempted to put it in good. I'm just going to put it in okay because there's plenty of good ones. Remember, we're ranking championship stadiums. If this was League One, Barnsley might be a bit higher. But because we're doing championship, I'm going to put it there. Next then is Birmingham City's St Andrews. Now, I've been to this one plenty of times, especially with my team, Coventry City, having home games there last season and the season before. Do you know what? Up until I was a season ticket holder for Coventry there, I would have thought it was an okay stadium. But do you know what? When it's got fans in there, it could be a really decent one. A bit like Barnsley, it's got one stand which is really lacking. But as for an away day in total, Total. Birmingham is a really good place to go as well. So I'm going to just about squeeze St Andrews into the good category. I think Birmingham and Barnsley are on a very similar level to me, but I'm just going to put Birmingham there because I've been to it more times and I've had really good experiences there. Next up then we have Blackburn Rovers as Ewood Park. Now this is the first one I haven't been to on this list. I am excited to go to this one. I will try and get to it if fans are allowed this season, away fans that is. It's obviously a decent stadium. It holds quite a few thousand. I like the look of it. It's sort of an old traditional stadium. It's obviously blue and red, which you don't get too much of. You usually just have a stadium with one colour. I'm going to put it in good. Like I said, I haven't been to this one. When I get to go to it, I might move it up. I might move it down, but I'm going to put it in good. Next up then is Blackpool Football Club. Now this is one I have been to and you've got to say, Blackpool Football Club, the first thing that comes to your mind is the away day itself. Not just the game, the away day, going away to Blackpool for maybe the weekend or something. And everyone always looks at the start of the season to see when they're playing Blackpool. And if you're playing them in the summer, you're very lucky. My team Coventry will be playing them in the summer. We're playing them in August, but it's a midweek game. But I, I don't know, I might still stay the night. As for the stadium itself, it's not one of the biggest and we are talking championship scale here. Oh, Blackpool fans, I'm tempted to go small, but I'll put you in okay. I'll put you in okay, just. It's not one of the smallest. I think it's the fourth or fifth smallest in the championship this year, so I'll just put it in okay. But as for the away day, it's a very good one. Next up then is Bournemouth's ground. Now, this one has obviously been up and down the divisions. It was a Premier League ground for five seasons, believe it or not. And it only held about twelve or 13,000. And even now they're in the championship, I still think it's relatively small for the championship. This is sort of a League One ground. As for the club itself, got massive respect for Bournemouth. And I think they will be one of the favourites to go up this year. But the stadium, they really need to expand because this is very small for the top two divisions of English football. Mmm, I'm sorry Bournemouth fans, I'm going to have to go small. Next up then, Bristol City, another one I have been to. This is a really good stadium. It's had work done to it since I've been. When I went, it was about five or six years ago before they started doing it up. And it looks even more impressive now than it did then. They've really built it up and I think it holds about 27 or 28,000, which is really good in the top half of championship stadiums in terms of size. Um, do you know what? It's pretty big. And I like it. I'd love to see Bristol City in the Premier League one day. Just think of them, Bristol City in the Premier League. They haven't been in the top division for God knows how long. But uh, yeah, I like their stadium. Next up then is Cardiff City, one of the bigger stadiums in the division. I think it's the third or fourth biggest capacity in this league. Um, as for the stadium itself, I haven't been to this one. I really want to go. I probably will go next year. It looks really good. It's quite big. I've got to say, what I've seen of it sometimes when they're in championship is they don't fully sell it out, but they still do get good numbers in there and they can get a good atmosphere in there. I'm going to put it in good, not quite elite for me. Like I said, I do want to go to that one. I'll try it out and who knows, I might move it up. Next up then, the Rico Arena for Coventry City. Now, this is one I obviously have been to the most out of all of these. This is Coventry City's ground, our ground. We don't own it and that's why we've had so many problems with it. We used to play at Highfield Road. We moved to this stadium and we never owned it. That's why we've had so many problems paying for it and paying to play there. 
As for the stadium itself, I've got to admit, even as a Coventry fan, it's not the best in this division. The stadium itself is fine, but it can be a bit soulless. And definitely when we haven't been able to get big crowds there, it can seem a bit empty and a bit too big for us. But now we're back in the Championship, I think we're going to get good numbers in there. I think we've sold quite a few season tickets and obviously with the away fans bringing more in the Championship than they would do in League One, it's going to be quite good at the Rico Arena next year. I'm going to put it in good. I won't be too biased and put it in elite, but I think the Rico Arena will excite a few new Championship fans next year. Next up, Derby County's Pride Park. This is a fantastic stadium. It's the second biggest in the Championship and it's the first one I'm going to put in elite. I think this is a really good one, especially when you get loads of fans in there and you get a really good atmosphere. It's a really good stadium. I've got to be honest, I do prefer the old traditional looking stadiums to the new bowl ones, but this is one of the new stadiums that I quite like and I'm putting it in Elite. Next then, Craven Cottage, Fulham Football Club's ground, and this one is also going in Elite. It feels like the works that have been done to this stadium has been taking ages, but once the stadium is complete and you can get a full house in there, it's a great one. In a great location on the Thames in London, another great away day, and this is one I haven't been to, but I really want to get to next season. Craven Cottage is Elite. Next then, Huddersfield Town, call this one what you want, the John Smiths, the Kirkleys, whatever you want to call it, it's a good stadium, I think. It's a very new design, but I do like the look of it. I I think we've seen it in grounds like Brighton and Man City, this sort of arching effect. And each stand kind of looks symmetrical. I do like the look of this one, and I'm going to put it in good. I need to try and balance these out a bit more because I'm getting too many in good here. Next then is Hall City's KC Stadium. Now, this is one I haven't been to, but I really want to go to. Obviously, they were in League One last year. They've been promoted back up to the Championship. It's a neat little stadium, but it's not the biggest. So... I'm just going to pop it in okay. Once again, once I've been to this stadium, I might move it up the tiers. Next then is Luton Town's Kenilworth Road. Now, this is such an old school football stadium. A lot of people criticise this one. And I think I have to agree, in terms of size, it's not very big. And Luton will need to get a bigger stadium if they're going to keep competing in the Championship. And who knows? Imagine if they got to the Premier League. Imagine the Premier League with this stadium. It just wouldn't make sense. I think the club, Luton Town themselves, are really on the rise. Now they need their stadium to get bigger. For now, Luton fans, I'm going to put your stadium in small. Next then, to the Riverside, where Middlesbrough Football Club's ground is the biggest stadium in the Championship. Now, we've seen some big grounds in the Championship over the last few years. We've seen Sheffield Wednesday's Hillsborough. We've seen Leeds United's Road, we've seen Aston Villa's Villa Park, and this is now currently the biggest in the championship. So, for that reason, it does have to go in elite. A really good away day. I really want to go to this one next season. I'm not sure when we play them, it better not be on a Tuesday night because this is quite a journey for a lot of fans. But the stadium itself, the Riverside, is going in elite. Next, then, to Millwall Football Club's The Den. Now, this one in London is probably one of the most intimidating away grounds you can go to. Now, for that reason, I just love it. I love the passion that the Millwall fans have to offer, and you can get some good noise going in that away end I'm going to put this one in good it's not one of the biggest stadiums in the championship but just from what Mill will bring to the table I think this is a good stadium next then to the city ground where there is no question for me Nottingham Forest is going in small of course it's not, it's going in elite. This is a great stadium, Nottingham Forest City Ground. What a stadium, surely deserves to be in the Premier League. Once again, I love the scenery of where this one is located, right on the river and uh, yeah, just across the river from Knox County's ground as well. But this one's really good, especially under the floodlights. Oh, this is a really good stadium and the Nottingham Forest fans do fill it up and it can be fantastic. Next then, two newly promoted Peterborough United. I have been to this one a couple of times when we were both in League One. And for League One level, it's not that bad, to be fair. But now we're playing in the Championship, I don't think this stadium really does hold its own anymore. So I'm going to put it in small. I think the club themselves, Peterborough, I'm really pleased they've got back to the Championship. And uh, if they're going to sustain themselves there, they probably do need to look at maybe getting a bigger stadium in the future. I'm not saying it's wrong to have a small stadium, but obviously with a bigger stadium, you get more fans in and more money. But... Uh, I'm going to put it in small, Peterborough fans. Next then to Deepdale. This is one I haven't been to. Preston North End. I'm really meaning to try and get to this one next season. The look of it is just fantastic. I really like the look of this one. I'm going to put it in good. Really desperate to get to this. I just love how big each stand is. It looks really big from some pictures. And yeah, Deepdale, I think it's got a massive away end as well. So that is quite a good one to look forward to. Next then to QPR's Loftus Road in London. Now this one for me isn't one of the biggest but I do like how tight and compact it is and I love all the little stands. I'm going to put it in good. I'm really filling that good tier up but I think QPR Stadium is a good one. I really like the look of it. It's just not big enough to go in the elite category but it's a nifty little stadium, isn't it? And once again, I do love my London away days. Next up is Reading FC's Medeski Stadium. Now, the stadium itself isn't bad. It's a fairly big one, but it can be a bit soulless. There's not too many occasions where Reading really do sell it out and make a great atmosphere. And I think a lot of the time, the away fans will probably make most of the atmosphere at this one. 
Still not a bad stadium. I'm going to put Reading's Medeski in okay. Next then is Bramall Lane, Sheffield United's ground. Now this one is elite. I love both of the grounds in Sheffield. I really don't know which one my favourite is. Let me know down in the comments which ground you think's better out of Bramall Lane and Hillsborough, guys. Let me know down in the comments because I'm really torn between the two. I'm going to put Bramall Lane in elite. It is a really good one and can get a fantastic atmosphere. Next then is Stoke City's ground, notoriously one of the coldest in the championship. Now this is another one I haven't been to. I'm going to put it in good. It could potentially be elite and I know they do get a lot of fans in there. But I haven't been to it and I really, really do want to get to this and really try it out. Because what I've heard from some fans is that this is a really good away day. Next then is Swansea City's Liberty Stadium. This is one I have been to. I really like this one. Only problem is it's a little bit small for the championship. I'm not saying it's too small for the championship. It's not quite the elite tier. I think it holds about 20,000, maybe a little bit more, a little bit less. And when they were in the Premier League, it definitely was one of the smaller grounds. But I do like the patterns in it. It's a really funky looking stadium. It's got a nice little away end and uh, it's not a bad away day. I'll put Swansea in. I'll stick it in good. And then last up is West Bromwich Albion's The Hawthorns. I've been to this one plenty of times. They do sell it out most of the time. And this one is going to go in elite. A really good stadium for the championship, guys. Really good atmosphere. And I'm really excited to go back there next season. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you agree or disagree with some of those stadium rankings, please do leave a like as well. Let's set a like tag of 60 likes. And do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out.